If you have been wondering how to really create a sustainable exercise routine, no matter what age, no matter what season of life, or even no matter how you're feeling in a particular day, this episode is for you. As a woman, as a mama myself, I have had to transform my exercise routine and have it grow with me in different seasons of life. I've been part of the street parking community for the last year and a little bit of change. Uh, Towards the end of my pregnancy, as I rehabbed my core, and my fitness and my body uh, postpartum, but even now, year plus later. Uh, And I have just really loved this community. I have loved what they have taught me about customizing, modifying, and creating an exercise routine each day and each season for where my body and where I'm at. So that's why I brought on Carolina Stone, who is uh, the pregnancy, postpartum, maintenance, and one of the best coaches I've seen out there. And she's a part of Street Parking. And she's a coach for street parking. And she's joined us today to talk about a lot of great stuff about how we can customize our routine as moms, as women, you know, maybe if we're coming back after an injury and how street parking programs really help you do that along the way. So listen to this episode. Consider joining street parking, which is a very affordable uh, amount per month, and really learn what it means to create a sustainable exercise routine for yourself. And then after you listen to the episode, make sure you join us in the Facebook group, follow me on Instagram to unpack it. But before you go, I just wanted to remind you that next week I am doing a menu planning challenge for free. Although I believe exercise is one of the fundamental habits we need to do to take care of ourselves, I believe our nutrition does come first. And so join me for this free menu planning challenge where we will help you create a routine and a healthy habit around nutrition that will support your exercise routine along the way. All right, enjoy the episode. Can't wait to learn your takeaways. You're listening to the More Than Your Weight podcast, and I am Brianna Wilkerson, your host. You know, over half my life, I really struggled with my relationship with food, my body, and myself. I was constantly finding my worth in my weight, in what I did, in how I looked, and how other people saw me. And healthy living was just about getting that affirmation. But when I started to see that my worth and my health was so much more than my weight, I found breakthrough. Yes, my body got to a weight that it really thrived at, but more so than that, I loved myself. I took care of myself and I cared for my body in the way that it needed. And I am on a mission to help other women do the same. And so through this podcast, my programs, my group, I really am on a mission to help other women find peace with food, feel confident in their bodies again, and develop healthy habits and a lifestyle that's so much more than about their weight. So I'm so excited to journey with you on this podcast where you'll find solo episodes, guest interviews, and an occasional essential oil episode from time to time. But before you leave, I want you to do a couple things. Make sure you join my Facebook group, More Than Your Weight Women's Community, where you can unpack these episodes, get weekly trainings, uh, monthly challenges, and a lot of support. But also be sure to hit subscribe and rate and review this podcast. Because guess what? I want to make sure this podcast pops in your inbox every single week. But then if you are on Instagram, make sure you follow me there because I show a little bit behind the scenes of my business and my own health journey. So I'm so excited that you're here can't wait for you to listen to this new episode but also again just know that you are so much more than your weight your health and your worth is so much more than your weight all right enjoy the episode and I hope to talk to you soon All right, everyone, welcome back to the podcast. I am so excited to have Carolina on with me today from Street Parking. She is the pregnancy postpartum coach, as well as does a lot with maintenance over there. And I've been a part of Street Parking since I'm almost a year now, since the pandemic hit. And I've just been so grateful for her and their leadership um, in my pregnancy postpartum stage, but also just really seeing how they really want people to be healthy and move and, you know, practice the more than nothing philosophy. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to chat with you. Yeah, me too. So tell us, you know, um, I, I can see you've done so much, you know, with birth fit, CrossFit, all these different things, but I know you really, you, I could see it. You have a heart for women and really have a heart for women to move in various stages of their life, particularly, you know, pregnancy, postpartum, parenthood, all those things. So tell us a little bit about your story with fitness and kind of what brought you to really focusing on those particular areas. Yeah. Um, well, actually my 
fitness story, I guess you could say, didn't really start until like way late in life. I didn't play sports. I was not athletic. Um, it, that was just not a part of my childhood or like young adult years. I think um, probably in my late 20s, almost 30s, I needed to just make a big lifestyle change. I was pretty unhealthy physically and emotionally and I needed a shift and uh, someone pointed me in the direction of yoga and Mm. that's really where it all started for me. I started to explore literally just moving my body and it wasn't for any particular end goal of like getting strong or needing to do anything in particular with my body but it was just like I needed to move and be in my body and um and the emotional and like mental health that came as a result of that was also pretty life-changing and so yeah it all started with yoga and then a little while after I got certified to teach yoga my husband um went into business opening a CrossFit gym. And, um, and then I became really interested in that and got certified to coach there. And um, then he and I basically like, uh, took over that business and ran it for a long time. And I got to explore all of these different um, facets of movement. In, in the meantime, while we were coaching CrossFit and I was teaching yoga, we were also both doing Taekwondo. Wow. Um, and that was, uh, I really liked the discipline mm. in that for myself. I was a pla- I was at a place in my life that I needed some like some discipline and like structure and stuff like that. And, um, and I loved that about it, but I also really loved the playfulness and, um, exploring like what it would feel like to kick or, you know, try and, uh, mm-hmm. like spin around or whatever it was that things that I just like, wasn't used to doing and, and it felt good in my body. And so all of those things combined just made me so excited about, um, movement. And yes, that can be called fitness. Um, but yeah, movement, fitness, wellness, um, the impact that they can have on your emotional, mental health. And um, from there, I started to get to know different women throughout different stages and seasons of their life and seeing how the needs are, are kind of different they're specific during different stages of your life Mm -hmm. um and that one particular like fitness class per se or exercise program doesn't necessarily or doesn't always fit those different stages um I was at a time where I started to um think about trying to conceive and I wanted a little less intensity from Mm -hmm. the gym so I kind of removed myself from training in the CrossFit, within the CrossFit gym, um, Mm -hmm. the walls of the box. And I started training at home and I found street parking Mm. and I loved the flexibility that they offered. I loved um, that there was a way for me to personalize my own experience within their Mm. structured, intelligent, guided programming. And, um, I dove into that and that's, that's when I, I got pregnant. (laughs) Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I love how you, I, first of all, I love how you're like, I wasn't necessarily an athlete and, you know, and I wasn't necessarily an athlete at all too, but no matter where you are, you can still start to move. And I love how you, you know, you pursued movement, um, from that place of like, I really need to mentally, physically, emotionally really care for myself. And, how you really let that intuition guide you for there was a season where you, you know, did yoga, you did CrossFit and you ran a CrossFit gym to when you were trying to conceive, you're like, I feel like I need a little less intense because there's so much going, there's so much going on in your mind when you're trying to conceive Mm -hmm. too, 
Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. And so just like you, removing that extra like stress from your mind too, to allow yourself to still move, but also, um, you know, pursue other goals in life. And so what, tell me a little bit about where, where did birth fit come in then? Did you start, you know, I knew you were a birth fit leader before moving and working with street parking. Was that during pregnancy? Was that even before or where that come? That was, yeah, that was before pregnancy. Okay. Um, I, found them I'm not even oh you know what I started listening to their podcast they have a great podcast series and yeah that was when I was starting to get curious about the next steps of trying to conceive and pregnancy and through listening to that podcast I started like really thinking about how I wanted um that transition to look for me and in my own life and how I really needed to educate myself Mm -hmm. um, for that, for my own experience, even things as simple as like, um, you know, getting off of hormonal birth control Mm. and starting to shift my, like really dive into learning my own cycle and shift the way that I was eating and the way I was exercising. Um, I learned a lot of that initially from, that podcast in particular. Mm -hmm. And that led me, that led me to their, um, in-person seminars, which they have changed, um, since when I did them, but yeah, they did some in-person seminars for coaches. And then again, for taking it kind of like to the next step and becoming at the time, what they called a regional director and then later a leader. And, um, so I was really, you know, just like, excited to be a part of this movement um, that seemed to be really supporting women through the this motherhood transition. Mm. I felt support for me during my ex- own experience with that and then um, in seeing how they were impacting like how I was coaching and running a business and all of that kind of stuff was mm. just um, was so inspiring and, and really helpful. Um, and yeah, and then when I joined street parking, um, it was initially just as a member and then Miranda was looking for some help with creating some yoga videos Mm. or like stretching and mobility videos. And that's initially what she hired, uh, me and Jeb, my husband to do. Mm. And as we got to know Miranda and Julian a little bit better, they realized that, oh, we have this other experience with, you know, my experience with coaching pregnant and postpartum women and Mm -hmm. Jeb's experience with strength and conditioning. And then the conversation started to kind of unfold about other things that we could do with Mm. street parking. And that's when, um, yeah, Miranda brought me on to help support the pregnant and postpartum Mm. women. It really, it was just like, Hey, do you mind, you know, popping on our Facebook group and answering questions for people as they come up and that all just continued to unfold as I saw more and more need for more support, more resources, um, and then eventually uh, creating the the actual like postpartum Mm. programming. Yeah. I mean, and you guys have created such a beautiful community there. I mean, I love going to the group. And I remember when I first had my daughter, I just was like, no one, you know, like they equip you so much, like for it to, to the point where you have the baby. But then after that, all the emotional, physical things that you're going through, I'm like, what's going on? How, she's not eating. What do I do? Oh, even like non-fitness questions I would ask in that group. And I love that that group is really just even the, you know, the mama's group is just so much about supporting each other. And you are just so helpful too. you always answering questions and you have a team too. And, and I just think, yeah, it's just such a unique stage for moms. I, you know, I didn't even anticipate, I know you did a lot of research ahead of time with, you know, thinking about like, you know, pregnancy and fitness and even postpartum, but I never thought about that. I just was like, oh, I'm pregnant. Let me just try to move. But I'm so grateful. Sadly, it's like, I don't want to be grateful, but I'm grateful the pandemic happened for this so I can come to you guys. But um, (laughs) just like even postpartum the last 10 months, like I, it is so hard to think it's just so hard for me to not look at who I was, you know, that, you know, what, what do you call that athlete brain or something you guys call mm. it? And yeah. just like, 
the ability for me to like slowly gain back my core strength, slowly gain back my strength. I was able to do the CrossFit open scaled, but I was able to do pull-ups having not done pull-ups in a long time because I just have dumbbells at home. And I just was like, this is absolutely amazing. The postpartum programming, but also the shift programming and just That's the so way, cool. yeah, I just, I was like, I'm going to tell her on the podcast, but <laughs> I just was like, wow, like I'm able to do push-ups, things I never thought, honestly, I would able to be do again after having a baby. And it's like, mm-hmm. and I did it in such a way where I didn't hurt myself because I had you guys to just say, okay, slowly do it. I remember right after I was like, okay, it's time to do a workout. I was like, oh no, you just need to do some breathing. I'm like, what breathing? (laughs) (laughs) It's like, oh, reconnect with my core. And, you know, and so I just think it's such an important stage, particularly after, but I know that you guys even have, let's say, you know, we're focusing on the shift programming guys. If you haven't checked out street parking, I'll link it in. There's so many regardless of where you're at in your fitness journey, but I think shift is such a great option for so many people, uh, whether it's pregnancy, postpartum, or, you know, you're older or you have some injuries. So tell us a little bit about the shift programming that you guys do in street parking. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think the shift programming is just Gosh, so special. And um, I mean, the regular street parking programming, which we'll call program A, B, Mm -hmm. and C, they're just slightly different versions of the same intended stimulus. So let's say, you know, one version is using a barbell, one version is using dumbbells, another version is using the sandbag. It's all trying to aim to get the same intended stimulus. And then the shift is another version of that, but it's the less complex version. And I think that less complex is an important element there and how we describe it or how we look at it, because it doesn't mean that it's necessarily easier (laughs) or that it's going to be like less challenging or that in any way you are less fit by choosing that option. I think that less complex opens the door to people who are like, straight up just short on time. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have the mental bandwidth, you know, like if you are fried at the end of the day and you're like, I know that I really want to work out. I know I'm going to feel better, but like, I just can't even wrap my brain around this other kind of more complicated version. The less complex version allows you to just like pick up your dumbbells wherever you're at, at the foot of your bed, in your garage, in, you know, the gym that you are renting space from whatever, and just, just get moving. Mm -hmm. So that's my favorite part of it because it, it makes it more accessible. It makes it more practical for more people to move Mm -hmm. and, and yes, like create some more consistency around their, their health, physical and mental. And that also leaves room for, like you said, people who are pregnant or postpartum, if you're recovering from an injury, if you're new to to working out, or if it's been a very long time where you just need something that is a little bit more simple. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's what I love about the shift programming. And, um, and I think that, you know, taking advantage of that and giving yourself permission to let that be, um, more than, than enough Mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. is really powerful. I think, um, what we talk about a lot with street parking is we, it's easy to get into this all or nothing mentality where you're like, well, I need, I need to have the right workout shoes and I need to have the right gear. And I need to have, I need to do the, the full version where I'm doing this you know, whole extended warm up and this like mm-hmm. really longer, more complicated or more challenging version of the workout. And I got to get like, no, just remove all of those barriers. We're trying as, as a team or a community to remove all of the barriers that make working out take up so much mental space. Right. Like it should just be as simple as any other task that you do daily um, or routinely, like, 
you know, walking your dog or brushing your teeth. Um, like it shouldn't take up that mental right. load, um, which I think it does for so many people. Yeah. And I love it too, how you, you, know, you talked about program A, B, and C, like there are so many options even within that, like, and there's extra programming, there's Ollie, there's endurance, there's, you know, so regardless if you guys are listening and you're like, but I also want a challenge, like there's tons of programs in there, but what, why I wanted to focus on shift is because again, what you were saying is that we have this all or nothing mentality in, in so many things in our health and nutrition and sleep. And, um, and you guys even support people around that too. It's very holistic. And I love the challenges where it's like, are you sleeping? Are you drinking water? Are you eating, you know, balanced meals? And so, um, such a great community and, um, yeah, removing those barriers. And you're right. Shift doesn't mean it's less intense. I think it wasn't this fault where it was a workout before where uh, it's like, oh, wow, this, this fault workout, you know, the regular workouts we do is, wow, this is actually more intense to shift, but I chose it because I'm like, what you're saying, and like, it was at the end of a long day. I'm like, I know this one's going to take a little longer, but actually this mentally is just going to make me keep moving. And so I love how you described it less complex. And so Mm -hmm. really need that in my life at this moment. And I love how, you know, I watch you on Instagram sometimes like, you're like, you know what, at the end of a long day, you practice what you preach. You're like, I chose shift because I just needed to move, but there were so many other things going on. And so, um, you know, that's always an option. So tell us a little bit more about street parking. We've been talking about it and people might be like, what is this thing? And, um, you know, it's like street parking. Are you parking on the street? I don't know. Um, but yeah, tell us a little bit more about, you know, the community, the programs and all that. Yeah. So, um, street parking is an online fitness program and community. Um, It was designed so that you can work out from home and um, you can follow a program at your own pace and customize it to your own needs, whether that's ability, space, or equipment. And you can have support from a team of coaches, as well as a community of people all over the world. And um, from there, it has kind of, I mean, the programming has expanded so much. So like what you've said, um, there's the, the basic daily workout, which is, um, I think, even within like the realm of this type of programming, they're all very short, they're very simple, but they are highly effective. Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, and then there are additional programs or offerings if you're interested in doing something more or slightly different. So um, there's an endurance program where if you wanna work towards uh, more endurance type of training, you can incorporate that. There is more strength or gymnastics training, um, all kinds of accessory programming that you can add on or use in place of the daily workout any time that you want. We offer um, additional resources on nutrition. There's even a, um, a whole team of, you know, the nutrition side where we have a template, we have suggested food list, we have additional coaching that you can do. Um, But when it all comes down to it, even the nutrition is, follows a similar philosophy or mindset of, we want it to be simple and sustainable. So there are no extremes in anything that we are doing or teaching or offering um, because we know that those extremes just generally don't last. Um, Mm -hmm. And so we try to keep everything as as simple as possible. Um, And and then the, the maintenance program is stretching and mobility and yoga. Um, so there's just a ton of content. Um, but I think the most important element is the basic, you know, the, 
the basic movement that we encourage people to do every day, Mm -hmm. even if it's just 10 minutes, 12 minutes and the accountability support connection that you get from the community uh, is incredible. Yeah. There's so there's, I mean, there's so many ways to stay connected and be supported. There's the Facebook group for the women, but also the overall, um, you know, community, there's the Instagram page and there's always like these mini challenges or encouragements to, um, you know, different ways to continue to keep moving. And so, and it's super affordable, everyone. It is yeah. super affordable. Like the amount I pay for a year is the amount I used to pay at a month. <laughs> Yeah, which is fine. It's obviously crazy. it's, it's great. I love, yeah. I actually love going in great person classes, but in the season, it's like, this is what I need. And it's just so affordable that it, it could be easy. It could be easy to be like, Oh, I paid it once, whatever, or I'm paying a little bit a month. But if you're really like wanting support, it's like, there's tons of ways that the coaches reach out to you and try to just um, encourage you. So for those listening that are, maybe they're pregnant, maybe they're postpartum, or maybe they're just like, you know, in this season of life that they want to start incorporating, a little more movement or fitness, what advice would you give to them? Um, join street parking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. But, <laughs> um, but um, if in general, I think it's finding a way to move that brings you some joy. So mm-hmm. for some people that might look like what we do at street parking. And I think for a lot of people, it could look like what we do at street parking because there are so many different ways to move within street parking. Mm -hmm. But for some people that might look like walking, uh, Mm -hmm. hiking in nature, biking, dancing, swimming, like whatever. It might look like Taekwondo. You start taking Taekwondo classes with a bunch of six-year-olds and you're like, oh my God, this brings me so much Mm -hmm. joy. Mm -hmm. And so if you can find something that, um, that feels good, like it actually feels good in your body and in your heart, then, um, just start there and just start with doing that. Yeah. 10 minutes a day five minutes a day and gradually increase the amount of time that you're doing it or the amount of frequency that that you're doing it, um, the amount of intensity that you do it. Um, But just start small and let that be enough for as long as it feels right. Um, Mm -hmm. I think like you said, I've been doing, I do a lot of the shift programming and I, um, I can do the other programming. Mm -hmm. Um, I can do RX, uh, for some of the other programming, but quite often what feels good to me is doing the shift and, Mm -hmm. um, and, and doing that consistently over the past now, since my daughter was born a year and a half ago, I, I am stronger. I am Mm -hmm. fitter. Uh, I feel better. My clothes feel fit better. All of those things have happened just with like very small amount of, um, you know, uh, a a lot less time than you might think is needed. Right. Right. No, I love that. Same. My experience is exactly the same. And it, it didn't, I didn't really notice that my clothes were fitting better or I was feeling stronger or fitter or more agile or being able to run longer until like after it was like, Oh, wow, I didn't, this works, you know? And, Mm -hmm. and I think it's just the fact that as you're saying, like celebrating the small steps daily, there's this book called the slight edge by Jeff Olson that talks about success is in the small steps daily, but that it, it, it isn't sexy. Like doing a 10, mm-hmm. 15 minute workout where you're just doing maybe body weight or any like that, anything like that. You're like, Oh, what's this going to do? But that's when you like 10 months later, a year and a half later, you're like, Oh, wow. It really <laughs> does work. <laughs> yeah. So, and I, I just love it. I think, and guys, like if you're wondering, okay, you know, join street parking, but am I going to have to navigate this alone? No, there's the coaches are there. The community that is there. Like literally you can get all the support you need to just start moving. And, you know, I even love uh, why I love shift too, is that 
I remember in the beginning, it's like, okay, well, you can't run 200 meters because you don't have the space or you shouldn't right right away. It's like, well, just walk for a minute. I'm like, oh, I can walk. And I, and I know that like, that's when I started exercising consistently. I was just walking, but for some reason, you're just like, oh, that's just for beginners. But it's like, mm-hmm. no. And I got a really good workout walking for a minute in between intervals, you know? So yeah, um, yeah I just love it. Yeah. Just how you guys celebrate the small steps. Yeah, I guess I would say maybe there's two steps. Mm -hmm. One would be join street parking. And then two would be once you are a member, reach out Mm -hmm. on the different platforms, whether it's the Facebook group or the Instagram or by email or whatever, but reach out right away and share where you're at, what you're looking to get out of it. Uh, and, and what obstacles you're, you're facing and you will immediately see that you're not alone and that you have tons of support and the staff, the community will point you in the direction of, um, of what you need to take the next step. So we've got two steps and then you will find what the next indicated action is very soon after that, Mm -hmm. just by, just by reaching out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as we wrap up, I just want you to share a little bit more about um, the postpartum program you put together, which is just such a fantastic program that I want, even if you see you are listening, ladies, and you're not, you didn't just have a kid or you're not, or you're maybe you're a man and listening. I don't know. Refer this to a friend because I want everyone to go through this program. So tell me, tell us a little bit more about the postpartum program. Um, well, thank you for saying mm-hmm. that. Um, but yeah, so the street parking postpartum program is called the fourth trimester bundle. And it's basically a package or collection of different tools and resources that we have created to support women from the transition of pregnancy and birth back to the regular street parking programming or the shift programming. So we wanted to be able to create a bridge that really supports women physically, emotionally, mentally through that transition. Um, So the first part of the program is called recovery and Mm -hmm. it's a four week program. Um, We created it so that it is gentle enough to begin as early after birth as you are comfortable. Um, Because what I noticed in my own experience is that there are a lot of different programs for the postpartum period and postpartum recovery, um, but they normally start at six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, I think that there is, I don't think that we need exercise. I think actually we need a lot more rest Mm -hmm. during the first six to eight weeks. But if you have spent months, years, your life working out or as a part of a community, and then you have this massive event happen in your life and a massive shift physically and emotionally to remove someone from their community or their connection to their body or this community, like, you know, relationship with their body or whatever um, is really, really hard. And I think uh, we wanted to be able to provide just a way to stay connected to Mm -hmm. your fitness community, to the world um, and, and to your body and to reestablish a connection to your body in this like really raw and vulnerable time. So the first four weeks are just basic breathing and relaxation exercises, um, which in a way is laying the foundation for the actual rehab because your Mm -hmm. core is made up of your breathing muscles, your diaphragm, your pelvic floor. And um, so just by laying on your back for 10 minutes and consciously starting to encourage your breath to move um, is a form of exercise, even if it's not sexy or challenging Mm -hmm. at all. and, and then we also shared tips from some of the other street parking coaches, just as a way to like, to, to feel seen and for someone right. to say like, oh, hey, I'm not just alone in this world of endless nights and diapers and, you know, what are all the other challenges that might come up in that, 
in that time. So first four weeks, it's just two sessions a week, very gentle. It's not an exercise program. It's just to support healing. The next four weeks is the core rehab program. And this was specifically designed to help you reconnect to and strengthen and learn how to coordinate the entire system of your core, um, explore range of motion, mobility, and to very gradually take you through the movements that you will then see in the street parking programming. Mm -hmm. So um, you should, by the time you finish those four weeks, you should feel prepared and confident with how to approach the regular street parking shift programming and to know how to modify and where you're at and other needs that you may have. Um, hopefully you feel prepared once you complete this. And then the next part of the bundle is the rebuild guide, the postpartum rebuild guide. And this is an ebook and it um, basically just answers a lot of the questions that I see or saw coming up pretty regularly in our Facebook group. Things like, you know, how do I modify this or I'm postpartum and I still can't do full push-ups. Um, when can I start to incorporate running or jumping or mm -hmm. heavier weight? So we try to address some of those issues as much as we can, given the fact that like everyone's experience is going to be different. Um, but we give a very broad generalized timeline of how to continue to progress throughout the first year postpartum. And then we also included some very general information on hormones and postpartum nutrition mm -hmm. and pelvic health and those kinds of things. And then as an added bonus to the bundle, we created the Sends Out Guns Out Mama's Edition, which is just like um, four weeks of programming that you can use in conjunction with the core rehab program or pretty much any time after that, that allows women to um, do some upper body, like body building type movements with dumbbells, but in a way that was intentionally designed for the postpartum period mm -hmm. um, that is still safe, but it hopefully is like a fun added bonus, allows you to, to get your hands on some dumbbells, maybe start to feel kind of normal or strong again in your body when um, you're still probably uh, healing. Yeah, it is such a great program. And I, and I, I was wondering, so say if someone like had a kid, you know, 10 years ago, like would the postpartum, like what, what would you recommend the postpartum bundle or would you just recommend they do like shift and, you know, use some modifications? Cause I just, I've talked to so many women that are like, well, yeah, my core is still not strengthened or my mm -hmm. pelvic floor is still kind of not healed up. And so what, what would you recommend? Um, that's a great question. And I think first and foremost, I would recommend that they, connect with a pelvic health specialist um, in person, preferably, uh, although I know that can be very difficult for a lot of reasons, financial, time, location, whatever it might be. Um, there are specialists, um, physical therapists, uh, experts that do online consultations, but mm -hmm. in person, they will be able to evaluate your body's specific tendencies um, when it comes to breathing, posture, where you hold tension, how you're moving. Um, and they could give you um, your own personalized uh, plan of action for mm -hmm. recovery. What we can do with street parking, I do think that um, the core rehab program can be really effective, not just for postpartum, immediate postpartum, but for yes, much later postpartum. Um, we have had people, uh, we've had men use it for recovering from abdominal surgery. Mm. We've had women use it for um, recovering from hysterectomy. We've had um, people use it just for recovering from uh, or managing back pain. So it can be very effective. I think that the difficulty lies in, are you willing to go back to the absolute mm. basics? Yep. Because this program starts you at the absolute basics. And mm. for most people, they have a hard time just like stopping everything else that they're doing and starting mm. at the 
very, very beginning and they feel like maybe it's not doing anything or maybe right. it's taking too long or maybe it's kind of derailing them from their other goals or, or you know, whatever it might be. But if you're willing to spend four weeks laying a strong foundation, I believe that it can help you reach your long-term health and fitness goals. If you're not really willing to do that, I totally get it. Um, there are times when you, you want that intensity, you need the intensity, that's fine. Um, in which case you could do the regular street parking programming and then supplement it by incorporating some of the more specific warmups on our members page, like the functional progression warm up, mm -hmm. um, some of the maintenance. We have resources from pelvic health experts on our website that are just tools that you could use on your own. But um, yeah, we have options for whatever it is that you're looking for. We want to try to meet you where you're at. Um, and yeah, we just, we just wanna help people get the information that mm -hmm. they need. And you guys do such a great job. Yeah, I can attest to that core rehab. The, that was probably my favorite part. Yeah, of the bundle. Just, you know, the first 10, 15 minutes, it's like, nope, you got to do this. And the workout was short. And I'm like, oh, wait, what? But <laughs> I'm like, whoa, the core rehab was actually a workout in itself. Like it was my yeah. goodness, but it really allowed me, you know, I just don't think we realize how much we use our core in our everyday life or in all these different movements. So doing that, I was able to do, uh, you know, push-ups or I'm able to slowly start doing kettlebell swings and feeling good about it, all these different things. And I just think our core is so central to so much of who we are and our, our body. So, so great, great mm -hmm. advice. Well, yes. And if you're listening, just know that there's, there's a space for everyone. If you're pregnant, if you're a man, if you're whatever, I just, I just definitely wanted to focus on that because I know some women recently have um, talked about the postpartum and I just, I just think you guys are the best place to go to. So um, as we wrap up, can you share with us um, where people can learn more about you on social media or even street parking? Um, sure. Uh, I think the easiest or the best place to go would be to the street parking website. Mm -hmm. There is tons of information there about street parking. Um, there's some information there about me and my role, uh, streetparking.com. Mm -hmm. And the street parking Instagram, I think, allows you to see a glimpse of all of the different um, things that we offer and people that are a part of commu our community. My personal Instagram is Carolina. It's um, like kind of phonetically spelled. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I really struggle with keeping up with it. Um, I think especially since having a baby it's like yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of an afterthought but right. I am always open to dms and email and mm -hmm. um, if I don't have the information I will help you find it so yeah that's my that's my main goal yeah awesome well thank you so much for sharing so many great nuggets and I just think People are going to leave listening, thinking, okay, I can move more in my daily life. And here are so many resources to help me. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. What a fabulous episode with Carolina. I so enjoy talking with her. I have so enjoyed being supported by her as I have, you know, gone on a different exercise journey, being a mom and, you know, newly postpartum about a year or so. And so I hope that you're leaving just with a fresh understanding, fresh inspiration to really figure out what does it mean to create a sustainable exercise routine that grows and transforms with you as your body and as your life grows and changes? Again, consider joining Street Parking. Go to streetparking.com to learn all about it. And I'll be there so you can join me along the way. But before you leave, I really want to make sure to remind you about the menu planning challenging happening next week. Exercise is a fundamental part of taking care of our bodies, but really what our bodies need more than anything is to be fueled properly. And one of the ways to do that is to create a simple, effective meal planning system that works for you and your family. So go to madewell345.com slash menu planning challenge or go to the show notes and sign up. It's free. When you sign up, you'll be entered to win a 90 minute coaching intensive with me that includes some recipes and more, but also you'll just get amazing support for five days in learning how to menu plan for you and your family. All right, sign up for the challenge and I can't wait to support you there, but I can't wait to see you on the next episode as well. 
That's a wrap. That's another episode of the More Than Your Weight podcast. I hope you're leaving encouraged and inspired and empowered to go out there and know that your health and your worth is so much more than your weight. So before you go, again, do a couple things. Make sure you join my Facebook group, the More Than Your Weight Women's Community, where there are daily posts, weekly trainings, and just a lot of support to unpack these episodes as well as get support in your More Than Your Weight journey. Make sure you also follow me on Instagram where I show my behind the scenes of my own health, but also so just how I care for others along the way. And then make sure you sit, subscribe and rate and review this podcast because more women will see that, but also you'll get new episodes every single week. All right. I'll see you on the next episode and can't wait to support you more.